Hey, welcome back to Type 5 Reviews. About a year ago, my wife and I were looking for a good all-in-one solution to clean our hardwood floors. And after doing a lot of research, I ended up purchasing this Tinico S5 Pro vacuum off of Amazon. And I did a quick unboxing and first impressions video on it. Then after using it for a little while, I decided to follow that up with a detailed video on how to clean it. Well, since then, Tinico reached out asking if they could sponsor a video on why I decided to choose this S5 Pro specifically. And since I'd already done all the research, I decided today that I'd share with you the top five reasons why I decided to buy the Tinico S5 Pro. So the first reason I decided to go with the S5 Pro was because of how convenient I knew having a wet dry vacuum would be. Using our old setup, my wife and I would have to go around and either sweep up or use this large stick vacuum to get up large debris. And then we would follow that up with a manual spray mop. And after you cover the floor twice, uh, that starts to kind of get a little bit tiring. And you can see here, even with our smaller kitchen, that's about 100 square feet, it still takes about three minutes to cover the area with both the vacuum and the spray mop. But I can easily grab the Tinico vacuum and cover that entire area in half that time before moving on to whatever else I need to do for the day. And speaking of convenient, just the other day I had the entire family loaded up in the van and I had to come back inside and check if the front door was locked. And then when I turned around, I would realized because I hadn't taken off my shoes and it was snowy and muddy outside, I tracked in all of this dirt. But instead of worrying about it or leaving it for when I came back home, because this thing is so easy to use, I just decided to grab it and come over here and start it up and vacuum backwards and clean up this entire mess while they were all in the van. I was just done in about a minute and then we are off for the rest of our day. The second reason why I bought the S5 Pro was because of how well it cleans. In most of the other videos that I've seen, when it was put up against other vacuums, it was the clear winner. And I think that's because of the way the brush roller is designed. On a traditional vacuum, it has these hard bristles, which work great for lifting dirt out of carpet. But on a hard wood surface, it tends to take that dirt and fling it out of the way. Whereas on the Tinico, it uses water and this cloth brush roller to create a wet rag or mopping effect. So it shoots this water up out of that nozzle and then it pushes it through this channel and out of these smaller nozzles to get the entire brush roller wet. And then as this brush roller spins forward, all of that dirt and debris gets picked up by this flat metal bar and then scraped off and sucked up into this dirty water chamber. So let's test this out ourselves and try to clean a few different scenarios you might run into around the house. Now when you first start up the vacuum, it'll default to auto mode, which is what I normally use for everyday cleaning. But if you have a particularly challenging mess, you can select max mode, which speeds up the roller and uses a little more water. Though what sold me on the S5 Pro specifically was its suction only mode, since it's one of the few models on the market to have that feature. And a little after I bought the S5 Pro last year, Tinico released their new S5 Pro 2, which adds a new ultra mode that electrolyzes the water for even deeper cleaning. And speaking of cleaning, it handles most messes really well. For this first test, you can see that I've lined up some of the most common types of dry messes that you may run into. I've started here with some finer material, which includes dirt, flour, and breadcrumbs, then moved on to larger objects like chips and sunflower seeds. For dry messes like these, I like to use the auto mode because the vacuum has a built-in smart sensor that Tinico calls its eye loop, which detects when the vacuum is run into something more difficult and increases the power and water accordingly. Essentially, it puts the vacuum into max mode so you don't have to. You can tell when it's sensed that the floor is dirty by the red ring that lights up around the screen. Then after you've gone over the area and cleaned up the mess, the ring will turn blue again to indicate that the area is clean. Just don't forget to empty and clean out the dirty water tank after those really big messes. For large liquid spills, I recommend starting with the suction only mode. For this test, I selected suction only to clean up this small glass of spilled milk. Of course, I could use auto mode here too, but having the suction only mode saves from having the vacuum use its cleaning solution and adding water to an already wet mess. 
Then after the spill is sucked up, I put the vacuum back into auto mode to clean the area of any remaining residue. Now I'm sure what you all really want to see is exactly how this vacuum handles tough sticky messes. So for this last test, I've set up some of my worst case scenarios including barbecue and applesauce, yogurt and eggs. For hard messes like these, I recommend going straight to max mode. And you'll notice even in the max mode, the eye loop still turns red when it senses that it's dealing with a big mess. If I had to clean this with a standard mop, it would just smear all of these messes around. But I found that I don't really have to worry about that with this vacuum. From experience over the last year, I can say that as long as the mess hasn't dried, I can clean it up very easily. Though if you do run into some dried messes, you may just have to stay over that spot a little longer. And while this was a fun test, mopping up sticky eggshells really pushes this vacuum to its limit. You'll definitely want to do a deep cleaning of the vacuum after something like this. Fortunately, that brings me to my third point. I really like the fact that for everyday use, this vacuum does a really good job of cleaning itself. Normally after using the vacuum, I empty the dirty water tank once before setting it on its charging stand to run it through the self-cleaning mode. It uses less than a fourth of its clean water tank to clean itself, which takes only two minutes. And while I've read about other vacuums foaming during the cleaning process, I've never run into a foaming issue using the Tinoco cleaning solution. And if you're worried about odors, you'll want a vacuum that does a good job at cleaning the roller. I've seen other vacuums that try to add hot air to dry the roller, which to me would just make any odors worse. The Tinoco spins the roller fast enough that it practically dries itself. Then after the cleaning process is finished, I'll rinse out the dirty water tank and fill the clean water tank, which only takes a cap full of cleaning solution and it's ready to go for its next use. The fourth reason why I chose the S5 Pro was because of its runtime. I wanted a vacuum mop that was cordless with enough battery life and water storage to clean my whole house without stopping, and the S5 Pro has some of the largest clean and dirty water tanks available. And since it has a built-in smart sensor, I knew I wouldn't have to fill it up with cleaning solution as much as other vacuums. As you can see here, even after cleaning the entire kitchen, living room, and hallway of our home, the vacuum only used about 25% of its battery in 10 minutes, which really matches its advertised runtime of 35 minutes. And after my normal use, it only takes about an hour to charge it back to 100%, which may seem long, but even after using it for almost a year, I haven't noticed any changes to the battery life. The last reason why I chose the S5 Pro is because I wanted a vacuum that was easy to use. Even when it's full, the vacuum still weighs less than 12 pounds. And if you have a second story home or basement, you know how annoying it can be to carry a heavy vacuum up and down some stairs. But because it's light and cordless, I don't hesitate to grab it even for quick basement messes. So if you're looking for one of the best wet dry vacuums out there, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check this one out for yourself. And if you found this video helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more reviews in the future. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully I'll see you all on the next one.